Good morning, everybody. Well, I decided to start a new Seven Days to Die. I took a break from Space Engineers, been playing quite a bit of that. And then, of course, watching Adams and Games for Kicks and their new start out worlds, and, and of course, Matfi, Matfi and um, uh, Rongo the Bold in their water world has just kind of got my urge up to start another world. I wasn't going to do it till A13. But here I am. And I named the world Estamos Condonados for the seed, which means we are doomed. And I'm thinking that was the wrong world seed because I spawned in between two bears that immediately started chasing me and so for the first few minutes of the game I was running from the bears who were attracting me and the bears were attracting zombies and I'm running and looting and trying to get grass and you know all the good starting stuff that you need to do and um, finally the bears left me alone and so I go finally get a road I run down the road and lo and behold that road takes me right to a, a hub city. So I kind of thought that wasn't a good deal. So then I took off the other direction and that road came to a dead end just kind of disappeared at the edge of the world though it actually really isn't an edge but um, so I headed across country and take that gathered up all the cotton I could and got finally got myself enough to make a, a whole set of armor if I guess if you want to call it armor I discovered a desert zone, which I don't really care to be in. I oh, there's and of course I had a bear just outside my hut all night long, just running in a circle, which was extremely exciting. Hoping he would leave. I guess the upside to that was he um, kept. Whoop, I think he's coming after me. Oh man, there's a nurse I want. Um, I think he kind of cleared the zombies off for a little bit, which was kind of nice. Okay. Leave me alone. Man, I am nowhere near as good as anyone on the bloke broken ankle team. I'm telling you with this bow, I oh, that's great. Okay, we will take that. So, oh look, another POI. Okay, well, maybe we'll look at that. Was able to replenish my water fairly successful. And, oh man, I hate those bobbing bobs or what are you going to call those guys. I cannot hit them. Well, I can hit them. I just, well, okay, I lied to you. I can't hit them. Anyway, so I ran around the rest of the day before it got too bad. Oh boy, that was good. Well, yeah, let's, let's run toward him here so we can. Yeah, let's change to the wrong weapon. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna die here for sure. Okay, let's run toward him again. Let's change the weapon again. Oh, there's another bear up there. You know, I. Not since Nav is, if I had. So many bears in a zone where I'm at. I was playing the Navez Navez map, and look at these guys, man. They are just all right. That didn't work. I know they said you're supposed to put the point over the spot where you. There you go. That one worked. Put the point over the spot you wanted to hit. Okay, that one didn't work. I'm gonna oh yeah, I backed right into one. Good. Okay, that's good.
Anyway, I don't know how much talking I'm going to do here, because I... Okay, come on. There's got to be a head in there somewhere. Shit. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. I'm going to have to get Mavis to teach me how to use a bow. Because obviously I'm not much of an expert with it. And let's go the other direction. So we can't get these guys. Oh man. Anyway, I spent the rest of the day running everywhere back by my my uh, zone end point or spawn end point all around. Well, not my the exact spawn end point because the bears were still there. And I I hit up every freaking nest I could find. Every every uh, stone I could pick up, chop down a couple trees. And I made arrows. And, oh, there's one right there. Oh, hello, lady. Yeah, my peripheral vision isn't as good as it used to be. And it's hard to find an eye doctor in an in the apocalypse, just just in case you're wondering, but it is it is difficult to find a, a doctor in the apocalypse. Okay, let's go the other direction. So anyway, while holding up in the cabin with the bear, I decided, you know, I'm gonna Oh man, I suck. Oh, I think I got him in his belly button on that one. Um, I'm going to be wise here, and I'm going to... Okay, I think that was a neck fat. There's a head, finally. Right, we're going to go the other way again. I noticed there were rafters in the, um, the cabin, so I thought, okay, cool, I'm going to... I'm going to make some frames, and... Or take some frames, and I'm going to climb to the raft. Oh, that was cool. I was shooting at her and got him. I'll take it, though. I mean, he's dead. Oh! That gives me some hope. Oh, that even gives me more hope. Is anybody coming up behind me? Oh! There's a little try-hard, as Midnight used to call him. there. Um, it was a great idea until uh, I stepped off onto the rafter and I went to pick up the uh, frame and guess what? The uh, rafter collapsed and thankfully I didn't break my leg because I haven't found one of Rongo's calcium tablets yet. In fact, I'm getting some really crap trash today, too. Rubbish. Wow. I'm just... Where in the hell is that bear? I forgot where that damn bear is. Well, I got some... a few coffee seeds, and... and, um... Oh, boy. That sounds like he's coming after me. Damn bears do not like me. I don't think they like anybody, to be honest with you. So, I fell from the rafter and took a punch. But I didn't break my leg, so I'm pretty happy about that. So here I am. Oops, here I am. Oh, I better repair that bow. I made an extra one. But I better repair that bow. But you can kind of see I went crazy on the arrows and the uh, eggs and uh, everything. But that's kind of what I've been able to pull up so far. Oh, man, he 
sounds like he's right outside. Of course, you can hear those guys for acres. Um, let's see, shoot, I'm probably not going to worry about that right now. Oh, but I will take some more water. And I'll take some food to eat. And more water. Now, if I could just find a damn... The cabin had what looked like a campfire in it. Of course, you couldn't use it. So great, you know? Great. It was one of those fake campfires that, uh, that, uh, are there for eye candy but don't work for cooking anything in. Kind of, well, I thought that was my axe, but, so I don't know, you may find this boring, but I'm kind of, a, oh, I guess I'm a traveler now. come on. Go away. Get the level. Oh, great, a gun safe. Okay, well, we'll come back to that here in a little bit. Oops. You know, that sounds like something just just happened. Did he come in somewhere? I don't think I can take a... I don't know, I'm being foolish for doing this. It's a bear right outside, but... Man. You know, you gotta do something. Cause it's, oh, look at here. I'll take that. Ooh. And I don't really need that yet, but we're gonna load it in there. And I need some pipes, so... Oh, shit. Oh shit. What is he tearing up? I can't see. And he's outside the door area yet. Uh. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Oh, vitamins. Okay, well shit. Alright, so now the trick is going to be is going to be getting away from the bear, I think. Don't think I need that yet. The trick might be getting away from the bear. Oh, he's tearing the stairs up. Okay, here's a broken leg. No, okay. Well, then we're going to move on. Mr. Bear, you can have the house. Hopefully he's got a real short memory. Yeah. Okay, we'll take that. Anyway, I'm not going to... Oh, another road. Battle on forever. I'm going to take a break right here. and Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And All right, now I get the choice of which way I want to go. I forgot to pick up my bag. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have a spawn point. All right, guys. Well, have a good day. Let me know if you like it. Take care now. Bye-bye.